Hi everyone, how are we going tonight? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and see me okay. Just make sure you're on mute. Hi everyone, excellent. Grab a, uh, grab a foam roller, make sure you've got your mini band. Uh, have a drink bottle nearby. We will do a little bit of cardio to finish off tonight as well. No worries, Sarah, all good. Um, thanks for letting me know. I'll try and add uh, some options for you as well. All right. Good numbers tonight, guys. Beautiful weather outside. I hope you're able to all get outside today and get some exercise. Um, we, I'll just highlight myself here now and we'll get started. So, all right. Uh, actually, let me just grab my cozy. We'll need a couple of markers as well. You need a couple of markers because we'll finish off with some, uh, some defensive slides and cardio stuff. So, if you've got a couple of cones, markers, something to mark some space, that would be great. Foam roller. We're going to actually start the session with a quick foam roll, just to do some, uh, just to do, do some mobility stuff to get ready. So grab your foam roller. We're going to do glutes, ITV, uh, glutes, ITV, and calves, really, really quickly, and then we're going to get into our our usual mobility exercises. Alrighty. So down. Right glute first, five times on either leg. I've got my right ankle behind my left knee. And we're just going back and forth five times on each glute. Getting any tightness out. If you guys have been sitting down all day, it doesn't have to be tightness from exercise. Sometimes it can be just tightness. I've been sitting too long. If you don't have a foam roller, I just saw a message come through. I'm not sure if it was foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, you can go straight into the mobility exercises. So use your foam roller or use your, the wall or couch as a guide for ankle mobility. ITVs are next. I can see some of you already onto it. So we're rolling back and forth from the side of our knee all the way up to our hip. Big deep breaths as we go through. Should be on your elbow. We want to be. We want to be as much in the side plank as we can be. Okay? We don't want to be. We don't want to be up, arching, arching through the side of our body too much. We want to be down nice and low, and just moving in like a back and forth saw-like motion. All right, doing both legs, and then we're on to both. We're doing our calves. You guys can do this. It's up to you. You can do it. Uh, both calves at the same time, or you can do you can split them and do one at a time. I like to do one at a time, just to apply a little bit more sort of intense pressure to one calf at a time. So let's stack our ankles on top of each other, We're rolling back and forth on that left calf five times back and forth. And again, five times on the right, back and forth. Okay. Then we've got our, I like to use my roller as a guide for our ankle mobility. Once we've done our foam rolling, I've got a message here. What we got? Girl Cody, yep. <laughs> Terrific. All right, so, so we've got our mobility. You guys can use the couch or wall or whatever you like as a guide. So you just imagine this foam roller here is your couch or whatever you might be using. I've got my big toe about 10 centimeters back from the roller, keeping my heel down and I'm just bringing my knee into touch. So just leaning forward. I can use my hand to apply a little bit more pressure to get that range of motion, really just want to feel that gentle stretch. Hey, just want to feel that gentle stretch in the back of my heel. Sorry guys, we're just barking away here. Got a good guard dog, aren't you? Can you relax, mate? You're right. Silly puppy. Hey. Mm. Yeah, nah. Okay, once we've done our uh, calves and Achilles, we're going to do our Spider-Man squat. Spider-Man squat, 
and then we're going to get into our exercises today. So remember, today's session is a little bit of a combination uh, of our get up and go and also our, our strength session. Um, and we add a little bit of conditioning at the end as well. So it's a bit of a combo session. It's a chance for us to really hone in on the technique of some of our uh, more popular movements. Um, so we don't actually do probably as many exercises, but we just really focus on the technique and, and there's a balancing sort of an aspect to the session as well. So we're into our squat, our Spider-Man squat. So again, bend at the hips, so get a gentle stretch in your hamstring. If you need to bend your knees to get your hands under your toes, you can. So if you've got to bend your knees, get your hands or fingers under your toes. Okay, try and sit so that your weight is still in the ball of your foot and you're down nice and low. I've got my knees going on the outside of my elbows. Okay, I can just sit in this position here and get comfortable sort of rocking back and forth again. Sarah, you may need to be pretty careful with this one. Um, if you can't do this exercise here, you can do uh, a bit of a like child's pose, which I'll show you in a second. Everyone else is able to do this one. We're in a full squat. I just want you to apply some pressure with your elbows onto the inside of your knees. So you're sort of pushing your elbows out and you should feel that stretch sort of in your groin. So we're stretching our hips out. Once we're comfortable there, we keep our left arm under and we rotate and twist and we're looking up at our right hand. Two deep breaths here. And then we come back down. So I'm going to hook my right hand under my right toes, pressing that right elbow into my right knee and I'm twisting to my left. And then I'm coming back and I'm going to stand up. Okay. So that's our mobility done. We're going to go into our exercises now. We're going to start, we're going to start in an inchworm. Okay, so you're going to need a little bit of space. We're going to warm up our core. We're going to go through an inchworm exercise. So like a walkout, but we're going to do two sets of this. And there's a couple of reasons why I want to do this. I've been noticing with a few of you, when we've been doing our push-ups, when we've been doing our plank, uh, we get our hands too far uh, in front of our shoulders. Okay, so we get into a position where our hands are all the way forward like this, instead of being directly under our shoulders. This inchworm movement, one, it's gonna work our core, it's gonna help us warm up a little bit more too, but it's also gonna help you guys understand the difference in distance with your hands in terms of how far forward you need to walk them to come into a plank. Okay, so we're gonna do six inchworms, all right? For those that aren't sure, an inchworm is this exercise here. So we come down, we bend down, we touch our toes. And if we have to bend our knees, we bend our knees to get our hands to the carpet or the floor. From here, we walk our hands out until we're into the top of a plank or a push-up. Okay, so this is a good gauge for you. If you're, you should, it should be really difficult for you, for you to walk your hands too far in front of your shoulders. So keeping hands directly underneath my shoulders here, like so, so my hands are straight under my shoulders, and then I'm tippy toeing, tippy toeing my feet up to meet my hands. Okay, stand up, and we're going to repeat that six times. Okay, so sets of six, we're going to do two sets. I want you to really feel this movement. So I want you to, as you're walking your hands out, make sure you're tightening through your core and you're feeling your core activate. So hands too far forward, Zach. Get your hands under your shoulders. Perfect, Sarah. Just be careful with this one. So you want to come, you want to get down to a position, guys, watching. So again, we come down, touch our toes. You want to walk your hands out, keeping your legs straight until you come to the top of a push-up. So now there's a straight line from the back of my head to my heels. So the top of a plank, top of a push-up, then I'm tippy toe all the way up, okay? So I get a little bit of, get a little bit of ankle mobility, a little bit of calf mobility, because I'm on my, like I'm tippy-toeing my, my feet up to meet my hands. Okay, we're not jumping our feet up, we're tippy-toe, 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 all the way until our feet meet our hands. So really important that we pay attention to detail here. Good job, Chase and Kai. Good, tippy-toe, awesome. Try and keep your legs straight there. So the important part of keeping your legs straight is that we get that hamstring stretch. So when you're tippy-toeing your, your feet to meet your hands, okay, we're not just bending our knees like this 
okay? We're tippy-toeing, okay? So our legs stay straight and all that's really, we're just pushing off, so we're sticking our bum all the way up in the air. And then we're standing up once our feet meet our hands. So we're doing six of those, then have a break and do your second set of six. Good job. Good job guys. So two sets of six on that exercise. Core should be nice and warmed up. Then we're gonna grab our mini band and we're just gonna go through our mini band series quickly before we get into our squats. So this inchworm movement is a really good exercise for you guys to include in any preparatory movements before trainings, before games. Really good catch all of, of, of getting some mobility through your hamstrings, through your ankles. We're also having to engage our core as well. Come to the top of a push up. Come on, Nick, you can do better than that. We're not falling to our hands, guys. Again, as with any of these things, as with any of these sessions, you can you can make it as easy as you want. All right, if you just want to, if you're just going to like go here and come into the top of like just fall straight into the top of a push up here and then bend your knees and stand up like that. That's pretty sloppy form, all right? If you really want to get better and you want to do it properly, you're going to bend down and touch your toes, all right? You're going to bring your hands to the ground. You're going to walk little, little steps with your hands out and your shoulders over your hands so we're in a full plank. And then little tiptoes with your feet until your feet meet your hands. Stand up, and that's one full rep. Jared? Yep. I can't find my mini band. Oh, okay, that's all right. No stress. We'll go through it pretty quickly. Have okay. you got one between the two of you or just none at all? Uh, well, I have one, but yeah, we only yeah. have... You've got one. You guys can just share. You guys can start now. You know, the, the crab walks, yeah. start the crab walks, yeah. do five each way and then swap. All right, guys, all right. if, you've done, if you've done both sets, grab your mini band. We're going to warm up our glutes and then we're going to get into some squat movements and some single leg arabesques again before we get into cardio. So band around our ankles. Let's get our glutes moving. Okay, we're down in that defensive stance. We're in that athletic movement, uh, athletic stance, arms wide. And I'm stepping out and sliding my feet together. But I'm not letting my feet touch again, okay? So this is attention to detail here too, guys. If I just let my feet get slung together like that, I'm not doing what, 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 the, what the purpose of the movement is. So the purpose of the movement is, is I'm having to work against the resistance band. All right, so as my, my, the band wants to bring my feet together very quickly, I need to control that movement. Okay, so I'm stepping out, slowly bringing my feet back to shoulder distance, and I'm going again. I'm staying low the whole time, okay? So again, you can make this as easy as you want to make it by just standing up straight and just doing that, okay? It's better than nothing, don't get me wrong, but you're not making the most of your time. So sit down in a little squat, a proper defensive stance, arms wide, push out. Really try and explode out as far right as you can. Once you've done five, explode out as far as you can to your left. And don't let your feet come together. And we've got our jab steps, 10 on each leg. I'm gonna use my ball today, practice some footwork. Okay, so I've got my basketball, our jab steps, 10 on each leg. So again, I'm ripping from hip to hip, okay? Hip to hip, nice and sharp. I'm jabbing right foot out, and I'm ripping as if I'm about to start my dribble, okay? I get down nice and low, I stay nice and low, so I'm here, I'm in like a triple spread, and I rip out and rip across my body. Jab step, rip across. Good job. Jab step, rip across for 10, and then other way, okay? And we're going to our left. Rip across, like we're about to take off to our left. Good job. Good work. Once we've done that, we've got our kickbacks. 
Yeah, so we're staying low in this movement, activating our hips. Okay, once we've done that, we've got our kickbacks. So again, we're low in like a squat position and we're just pushing one leg back. Other legs staying nice and stable, kicking other leg back, coming onto the ball of that back foot, squeezing that glute. So if I'm kicking back with my right leg, I want to feel that in my right glute. Good work, guys. Kicking back for 10. Once we've done that, we're on the left foot. If you've done all, if you've done our full mobility, uh, sorry, minivan circuit, grab a quick drink. And we're going to get into a lateral, uh, lateral squat, so like a sideways movement type of lunge. We did this last week. Okay, we did this last week. Good job, Chase and Kai. Good kickbacks, try and stay nice and low. Really good, excellent. I've got some new faces in here tonight, maybe. Henry Hayes, big Henry. How are you, mate? Give us a thumbs up. Got the kickbacks, good lad. All right, guys, so once we've done that, we're going to go into our lateral squat movements and our single leg arabesque before we move into some, uh, some explosive combo type movements, okay? So if you're still working on your minivan circuit, that's okay, just pay attention if you're watching. Okay, so our lateral squat, we didn't quite get this right last week. It's a really good movement to get, to get better at, okay? So when I say squat, basically what I'm talking about is a squat movement is anything where my knees are bending really as much as my hips are bending. Okay, so it's knee and hip dominant. All right, so think like an athletic, like a defensive stance. Okay, my, my hips are just as bent as my knees. Okay, so that's what we talk about with a squat. When we're talking about a deadlift or a single leg arabesque, we're talking about a hip dominant. So see how my knees aren't really bending and I'm just bending at the hips. All right, that's that those, those hip dominant movements, like our, our, our glute bridge that we do in our uh, Tuesday night session, single leg arabesque, they're better for our glutes, they're better for our hamstrings, so what we call our posterior chain. Anything where we're bending at the knees focuses a little bit more on our quads and maybe our hip flexors. So this movement's a little bit of an adaptation of a squat. We're gonna do two sets of six. Okay, we're doing a lateral lunge. So we're actually gonna start and I'm gonna step out to my right. Okay, as I step out to my right, all right, I'm gonna bend my right knee, but I'm keeping my left leg straight. Okay, so I step out and I sit and I bend my right knee, but see how my left leg stays straight. And I actually like to rotate and twist so my toes are actually pointing up to the, to the roof as I sit down into that squat. So from the side, what that looks like is if I step out to my right towards the camera, I step right, you'll see I sit back into it, and it just looks like a normal squat from there, doesn't it? You can't see my left leg, but all my weight is in my right leg. Okay, so if I go to my left here, and I step out to my right, and you'll see now, you can see now that my, my left leg is straight and my toes actually are pointing, basically pointing out the camera, and I'm still sitting down into that squat but I'm putting a lot of my weight, I'm shifting my weight across to my right side like so. And then I'm pushing back out, bringing my feet together. Sitting down into that lateral squat, right leg's working hard, and then I push out of that position. You can see how this would apply really well to basketball because we Euro step, we do moves like that. Okay, defensively, we have to be able to push to our right and then quickly push back to our left. So I want you guys to think about that as we go through this movement. So I'm going to step, sit down, and come back up. Six on each leg, two sets. I'm going to do the first set. I want you guys to have 30 seconds break in between. I'm going to do the first set, and I'm going to come and have a look at your form. So when we, we step to our right, then we sit our butt back. So we step out to our right, sit our butt back, into a sort of an imaginary chair. Now I'm going to my left. So I step to my left, and I come up onto my right heel, and I sit into that left hip. That's the movement we want there. 
Good job. Six on each leg, have a breather. Try and keep your knee pointing towards the camera. I can see a couple of you are stepping and that knee's going that way, going out to the side. We actually still want the knee to track over the toes, toes pointing at your camera, basically pointing straight forward. So like so, okay? It can be a bit of a difficult movement to get the hang of, but really all we're trying to do is put more of our body weight on one leg at a time. So we're getting really, it's a way of loading up this movement a little bit without adding external weight. Okay, so do your second set. I'm gonna have a look, that's perfect. Chase and Kai, just make sure you bring your feet back together. So I like to step into it because it adds that lateral movement aspect. So start with your feet together and whichever leg you step out with is the leg you sit down into, perfect. Yep, good. Good job, Sarah, that's good. That, that depth is fine with your, if your back's sore, don't go too much further. Cam, that's good. Just make sure your knee stays pointing towards the camera. Matty Shacklock, not too bad. I know you don't have much space there. You might have to go side onto the camera. It looks like you've got a little bit more space that way. <laughs> That's good, Nick. Good job. So again, with this movement, again, it's, it's, it's personal preference where you want your weight to go in terms of the, uh, the foot that's on the ground, like that you're stepping away from. So if I'm stepping to my right, I can see a few of you are staying like left foot, you're coming up onto the inside of your foot. That's okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We just need to make sure our opposite knees tracking in line with our toes. So it's a lot to take in guys, but just keep working. I know it's, uh, it's a new movement, but you're doing really well. Two sets of six of this. Again, so we're really loading one leg at a time. Our next movement's our single leg arabesque, which I know you guys know is one of my, uh, one of my favorite movements, yeah? So again, we're not getting a lot of movements in this session. We're just focusing in on a couple of big ones and then we're finished with some cardio. So single leg arabesque, again, it's one of those exercises you can do it really, you know, your form can be pretty average, pretty shaky, and you can just smash through two sets of six on each leg, no problem. Uh, or you can really take the time to hone in on the, on the um, technique and you'll reap the benefits, not only from a balance perspective, from a posterior chain strength perspective, um, really good movement, okay? Strengthening your core. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my right leg to start with. I lift my left knee up, so my right foot is on the ground. I like to start with my left knee up, and that helps me get into that proper posture that I want. Then I'm gonna rotate, as I kick my left leg back, I'm bending at the hips, and I'm just keeping a soft right knee. Okay, so it's just a soft right knee, I come forward, see how my back stays straight, okay? So my back stays straight here. If you can only get to here, so if you can only get to about 45, that's okay. Another key to this movement is don't let that, that leg that's off the ground, don't let that leg that's off the ground go floppy, okay? Because that leg is really important as well. So if I kick this leg back and I just let it dangle like that, okay, that's gonna pull me into like a rounded posture. We need this glute, so for me right now it's my left leg, we need that glute to be active and our leg to stay straight. All right, we're doing six on either leg. Sarah, if this hurts your lower back, just be careful, you can go into glute bridges and you'll get a similar movement. You can even do single leg glute bridges if you want. So let me know if you want me to show you how to do that one. I'm gonna do one set. I'm gonna do one set and then I'm gonna come and watch your second set. So again, we're kicking forward. We're coming down. If you want an extra challenge, you can add Superman arms, or you can fly with your arms out to the side, swing through. I always swing through and finish with that knee up again as well. For me, that just adds like a little bit of a power aspect as if I'm going up for like a left hand or right hand layer. I swing back through, gentle sort of a strain and stretch in my hamstring, and then I swing through. If you're having trouble with balance, try and focus on one point on the floor. I focus on a single dot of dirt or a speck in the carpet, whatever you've got, or you can put your drink bottle there and look at that. So again, single leg balance, really, really important. Good job, guys. I'm going on my left leg. Start my right knee up, kick that right leg back as if I'm trying to stamp my right foot on the back wall behind me. 
Really lost balance, swing through and up. Take a break between sets here. Give me an opportunity to come over to the camera. See how you guys are going. For any of you older kids that have been doing a lot of strength stuff, Henry, um, Chase guys, if you've got any, any external weight you want to use, be careful, but, but, but it's up to you guys. If you want to add weight to this, you can hold onto a dumbbell here. Uh, if you're holding onto it with one hand, hold the same hand. So if I've got my left leg down, I'm holding onto the dumbbell with my right, uh, my left hand. Come forward and swing through. All right, second set. Come and have a look at your form. Perfect. Good job, Cody. That's good, mate. That's it. Yeah, you can hold the weight with two hands. Really good. Chasing Kai, I know it's tough to balance, but that's good. Girl Cody, perfect. Yeah, you can hold it with two hands if you like. So this is where our, our camera is actually really useful for us. I said it the other night. It's one of the many, uh, sorry, one of the few benefits of doing the Zoom sessions right now is the camera actually gives you instant feedback. So if you can see yourself in the camera and you're not sure about your form, Go side on with the camera and try and have a peek at your form as you're doing the movement and it'll quickly tell you, oh, my back is rounding or I'm not keeping my opposite leg active and, and you can make adjustments. So really keep that opposite leg active. Chasing Kai. Yep, so that leg that's up off the ground, keep trying to push that heel up as high as you can. Swing it up. Good job, Sarah. That's good, mate. Yep, good glute bridges. Good. Good job, Henry. Good job, Henry. Excellent. Swing through and swing up with power. Good job. Good job, girl, Cody. So we're just working on balance. It's okay if you fall over. If you fall over, lose balance, just pick up where you left off. So again, I won't harp on it too much, but guys, just so you're aware, because I can see a few of you are doing it a little bit. This leg that's off the ground, so for me, my left leg right now, don't let it dangle here, okay? Don't let it dangle here. It's going to make you round your back like that, okay? Swing it up. Try and get that heel up as high as you can. So you try and make a straight line from your heel all the way up to the crown of your head, okay? And again, you can have a little look sideways quickly and see if you're a nice straight line. That's what we want to aim for. Great work, guys. Excellent. Uh, we're running out of time. We're going to finish off with a little bit of cardio once you guys have done your single. So grab your, grab your cones. Grab your cones here now. Okay, hopefully you guys can see these. I've got one. I'm going to place it about a metre to my right. I've got another. I'm going to place it about a metre to my left. You guys use as much space as you've got. Okay, if you've got a bit more space, challenge yourself and push it out a little bit further. Okay, so for me now... Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, I've got one a metre to my right and to my left. Okay, I've got to get a really good slide to my left to be able to bend down and touch that cone. All right, same to my right. I've got to get a really good shuffle, defensive slide to get down and touch. Then I've got my third cone. All right, we're going to add that out front. Okay, so I've got that out in front of me. You guys might not be able to see that. We're making a nice triangle. That cone's about a metre in front of me here. What we're going to work on here is reaction time, as well as a little bit of cardio, okay? So we're going to assign these cones numbers. I'm going to call out numbers. We're going to go for three sets of 30 seconds, all right? So I've got my timer, three sets of 30 seconds. We're going to stay moving pretty much the whole time. So it doesn't sound like much, but we're not going to stop moving. So in between sets, in between sets, we've got a pitter patter. In between sets, we've got a pitter patter movement. So if I say go, we're going to be down in the defensive stance, pitter patter, we're on our toes. Okay? Today, we're going to assign the numbers to the cone, the top cone here at the top of our pyramid. That's going to be one. Okay? The cone here to my left is going to be number two. That's two, to the right is three, okay? So as soon as we start, we're going for 30 seconds. As soon as I say go, we're pitter-patter, okay? If I say one, 
I'm sprinting forward into a closeout on my first cone here at the top. I'm back pedaling and I'm back down into a pitter patter. Okay, if I say two, I slide, I bend down, I touch the cone with my hand, okay? So I get down low and I slide back to the middle and pitter patter again. So we're always reactive. We always slide back to that starting point in between the middle of the two cones. If you're doing this with a brother or sister, just be careful. You two doing it at the same time there, chasing Kai. We've got the Cody and Piper as well. Just, just be careful, okay? You may need to make a little bit of extra space or set up two pyramids if you can. All right. I'm gonna call names and numbers. Sorry, I'm gonna call numbers pretty rapidly, okay? You ready to go? Down in a stance, three, two, one, pitter patter. Here we go, stay down in a stance, pitter patter. One, go close out forward, back pedal, good job. One, go again, sprint forward, stay low, good job. Two, slide left, touch the cone, come back, pitter patter, good. Three, good, we're halfway, keep working, keep working. Good. One, two. So close out, back pedal, now slide. Good job. Back to the middle. Three, one. So slide right. Yeah, we've got to react now. Good job, back to the middle. Good. Last one. One, two. Sprint forward, pitter patter, back to the middle, pitter patter, and slide. Good job. Okay, have a rest. Oh, we can do a little bit better than that. That wasn't bad but I see a few of you cheating a little bit. I can see people going straight from the cone on the right, closing out to the top. Always return to the middle. So if I say one, two, three, you gotta to get to each cone. You don't just run a triangle, okay? We're making this basketball specific. So never in a game, you're never really gonna go here, then here, then here, okay? We've gotta always stay down in a defensive stance, okay? So you might close out here, Okay, and you maybe would slide here, okay? But we're not, we're not gonna just run from here and then turn and run to here. Okay, we're gonna come back to this point here at all times and be down in the stance, pitter pattering, okay? Here we go for our second set. I'm gonna make this a little bit more challenging. Everyone's reacting at different times. Everyone's reacting at different times, so I can't do them too quickly, but we're gonna try and go a little bit quicker here. Okay, everyone down in the stance, ready to go. Three, two, one. Down the stance, let's go. One. Good. Two. Good. Three, all the way across. Get across. Good, good. One, three. So close out, back pedal to three. Good job. One, two. Halfway, keep working. One, two, good job. Here we go, two, one. Two, one, go, 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 go. Touch, close out, all the way forward, come back. Good. Three, one. Here we go, last one. Stay in a stance, Zach. Stay in a stance. Basketball movements. One, three. Last one, go, push, 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 push. Get all the way out, close out and come back. Good job, all right, stand up straight. Good job, we got a 20 second breather and we've got our last, our last round. Good work, guys. Hopefully you get your heart rate up a little bit. Here we go, we're gonna go in three, back in position, two, quick jump up, one. Here we go, pitter patter, pitter patter. If you need to rest, Sarah, Sarah just rest. Pitter patter, let's go, three. Down low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Get to the cone, here we go, one. Good job guys, keep working. And back, good, two, one. Slide, 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 stay low, I know, react, 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 close out, good job Nick, well done. Keep working, here we go, three, two, big slide. Push out, push out, get all the way across. Good job, and pitter patter. Stay low, stay low, stay low, get lower. Get lower. One, three. Let's go, we've got two to go. One, three, good job, get across. Good, Matty, that's tough. You got the wall right there, good job. One, two, let's go, two to go. One, two, come forward, push out. Good job, Matt, well done. Here we go, two, one, finish off. Go, 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 go. Push out, come back and pitter patter. Back and pitter patter, stay low. Good job. All right, have a rest. Good work, guys. Good, so three or four minutes of get your heart rate up a little bit. Okay, it's not ideal, but hopefully you guys, if you've got skipping ropes, if you've got some other stuff you can do in terms of cardio, that'd be ideal. 
while you're warm now before we finish off. Uh, we're just going to do a really quick foam roll to finish up. And if you guys want to keep going, you've got a little bit more time if you want to do some skipping and stuff like that. So again, we go through our foam roll to finish. We've got our glutes, five on either glute. If you guys need to go, you can jump out now. We're a little bit past 5.30, uh, 6.30. Jump out, five on each glute, left and right. Don't forget we've got our session tomorrow morning, body and mind. Okay, we do some yoga, we do some Pilates, and we do some deep breathing and meditative practice. <clears throat> it was a good session last week. It'd be great to see more of you this week. It's really good stuff, especially it's a great way to start your day. Good habits to get into. ITB, if you've done your glutes, jump on the side, side of our knee all the way up to our hip and back down five times. Again, if that's too hard, you can bring that leg over to the front. Left leg. Whoa. And then calves to finish off. So again, you can do both at the same time, or you can do one at a time, it's up to you. Great work, guys. Good session tonight, guys. Again, a bit of a combo session. We'll always mix it up on a Thursday and try some different movements, try some different stuff. Focus in on technique a little bit, but have a little bit of fun with some cardio at the end. So good job, guys. Hopefully see a few of you tomorrow morning at 8 for some yoga and Pilates and something a little bit different. Um, otherwise, we've got our same schedule next week before we break for holidays. So great work, guys. See you later. Good on you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Hey guys. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, guys. Bye. Cheers, Rossi. No worries, Henry. Good on you, mate. See you, Nick. Nick, well, you've been frozen. <laughs> oh, there you are. He's back. Good on you, Nick.